Tony D and Little Joan with a screenwriter's rant on Asphalt City, a movie about two EMTs and the rough, gritty world in which they live. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Yes, that is Sean Penn. Uh, check out my books. Links in the description. Comedy Horror in South Jersey. It's the Pioneers books 1 through 13, available at Amazon.com. Don't forget, Kindle Unlimited is free. Is that Bill Burr? It looks like Bill Burr. It sounded like him. Can't quite tell in the... Let me play it just a little. Yeah, maybe. I think that might be Bill Burr. It might be a guy who sounds like him. Anyhow, it's about ENTs, and it, I don't know. It feels like Oscar bait. It feels like total Oscar bait. Joan, I'm trying to do the thing. Now you pipe up. Now you pipe up, huh? All right. Uh, just calm down. It's Sean Penn, Joan. Being very disrespectful to Sean Penn. He was married to Madonna. Anyhow, uh, this is very much Oscar bait. It's like two dudes, and they're EMTs, and it's a terrible city where terrible things happen, and they're under tremendous pressure, and everybody is going nuts, and no, no. It, it very much, I gotta say, a friend of mine sent me a link to a Seth Meyers sketch, and the moment I got the link, I thought, Seth Meyers, seriously, dude, is this this is not going to be funny. It totally was, because it was Seth Meyers making fun of the fact that they do these Oscar bait movies. The, the, it was a parody of a movie called Oscar Bait, where basically Seth does everything that in an Oscar movie. Every single thing. Not, well, not everyone, but a lot of them. He, he, he nailed a bunch of the tropes, which I, I, I got to give it to him. That was, it was funny. Um, so, yeah, this is... Sean Penn trying to get an Oscar, I guess. Um, I like the title. It's a little too intense, in my view. These guys aren't cops. <laughs> right? They're not cops. Here you go, Joe. Get lost, will you? Jeez. You can't even do a movie thing without you ruining it. They, uh, it, it's just too intense. It's too intense. It's like, He's the young guy's been on the job. I forget the actor's name. He's been on the job like two weeks, and already they're, I don't know, they're up to no good. Uh, you know, we got to cut some corners here, kids. You don't know how it is in the city. Like that kind of stuff. Like they're cops, but they're not cops. There's a scene where one of them's talking about, did you, did you let him die? <laughs> stuff like that. It's like, I don't know, does this stuff actually happen? It kind of feels like, kind of feels like, yes, yeah, some of it could, but it wouldn't be like, a, you know, not like a cop. Like a cop, you can kind of see it. For an EMT, I know horrible things happen, but it would be very, like, repetitive and grueling and bloody. This feels like, I don't know, it feels like they're crossing into the cop's territory a little bit. Uh, and they end up throwing, throwing fists and... I don't know. It's a little too intense. A little too intense. Again, feels like Oscar bait. So, first act, uh, you know, the new guy's here. He kind of looks like, uh, what's his name? Barry Kogan. But it's not. It's a different dude. He's the new guy. He's from Colorado. And uh, he's he gets put with Sean Penn, the veteran, the, the veteran, who goes too far. And, uh, you know, his wife's like, baby, this job is tearing you apart. That's very much a Oscar bait movie trope. Intense. Um, so, the first act is he sh joins up with Sean Penn. Sean Penn sh showing him all these things. And at first, he's an amazing EMT, right? He knows all, because he knows all these things. And then in the second act, um, he keeps pushing him further and further away from doing procedure. And they start doing crazier and crazier stuff until he starts to question what the hell he's doing. And, uh, you know, and then maybe there's an investigation or something. And so there's all these added pressures. And it, they just keep throwing on the pressures until finally at the end of the movies, it, you know, they, they, they break and they're like fighting amongst each other. And will one of them go to jail? Did he take it too far? Um, you know, can the other guy you know, survive this encounter with this uh, crazy jaded EMT veteran. And then in the end, uh, maybe Sean Penn gets fired, or goes, goes to prison or dies. And then he 
ends up either quitting being an EMT to save himself or he stays on board running the risk that he'll eventually become just like Sean Penn and maybe they'll foreshadow that in some way. So it's just one of these movies where everything's super, super intense. Like back in the 70s, they did these movies, but that's when they were new, right? That's when like those kinds of movies were the new thing. You know, they were exploring new cinema. They were exploring, you know, for the first time, people were taking drugs on film and smoking pot and doing all these things that were considered grungy and weird and not appropriate for film, but they were taking chances and doing cool stuff. Now this kind of stuff feels like Oscar bait. It feels like they're just going through the motions. So, I don't know. It feels like it's too much, right? It's too much for an EMT to go through. And there's not enough here, at least in the trailer, in terms of a character, other than all the intense moments. It's kind of like when you watch like a horror movie trailer and there's like a million scare cuts. You know, these jump cuts just mean to scare you. Instead of that, what these kinds of movies have are the intense thrill ride things of like the the tent, the intenseness. Like, uh, my marriage is falling apart. Uh, you're taking drugs. Oh, man. Uh, you know, the captain's going to fire us. Like that kind of stuff. All like jammed into one movie, jammed into like a couple of days you know, where it would be spread out over like months and months and, and be more of a slow buildup. That's the other difference between movies like this now and movies in the 70s. In the 70s, they would usually take the time to build it up. You know, a movie like Serpico, if they made it today, would be like this. But if you watch Serpico, Al Pacino, you know, there's actually a wind-up there. You actually get to see, you know how Serpico becomes a cop and why he becomes a cop and then slowly makes his way up the ladder into the detective work, which then becomes too intense. So it's not like every single day, every single person. You know, he, he sort of winds his way into it and then realizes, oh no, I'm caught in this corrupt world. And that makes it more realistic. Whereas this feels, it feels very forced. It feels like they're just dropping the young dude into the middle of like hell. <laughs> which again some of that is true but you know from a movie perspective i think you want to wind into it a little bit give the characters a chance to breathe not just have an intense scene every 10 seconds not for something like this this is a drama it's about characters and what they go through it's not like a marvel comics thing or a movie like star and the hulk where you want to see him bash stuff through the entire movie you want to see how this all comes together and and then it eventually unravels. Uh, anyhow, let's see. First movie trailer for Asphalt City starring Sean Penn. Ty Sheridan is his name. Oh, yeah, Mike Tyson's in it as, like, one of the supervisors. So that kind of undermined it for me, too. No offense to Mike Tyson. I love Mike Tyson in stuff. But in a serious movie, yeah, I don't really think he belongs there. He doesn't feel like a serious actor. In comedies, absolutely brilliant. Oh my God, you have to watch the Mike Tyson mysteries sometimes. It's one of the funniest things you'll ever see. But in a serious movie, I kind of can't take Mike Tyson seriously. No, not as a serious actor. But, oh well. That's it for me, Tony D. And Little Joan. Do we have a date on this thing? I don't think we do. Feels like uh, something in the spring, maybe May. Um, check us out on Odyssey, BitChute, and Rumble for our more base takes. If you can find a more base take, I say, take it. On Friday, I'll be in Ocean City at the United Methodist, uh, I think it's called the Senior Center, uh, for my talk on how to hunt the Jersey Devil for residents and family. And then on Sunday, I'll be at NerdFest in Swedesboro, New Jersey, doing nerd stuff. So, hope to see you there. We'll see you tomorrow. Whoops. Tomorrow.